Agriculture is the backbone of Uganda, accounting for 25% of GDP and employing over 70% of the population. According to African Development Bank, youths in Africa make up 60% of the unemployed population. However, they are so largely excluded from the agriculture sector, despite the benefits that comes with it. Empowering youths in agribusiness for sustainable development is what we are talking about today. Empowering the youth in agribusiness for sustainable development is what we are going to talk about today. But most importantly, what is agribusiness? Agribusiness is you participating in agriculture for commercial purposes and sustainable development is you using the earth or whatever natural resources are available without sabotaging the ability of the future generations to ensure that they are able to meet their needs from the same natural resources. Welcome to the lounge. For those watching us today, we have a very significant guest with us today who is going to address some of the challenges that us as the youth are facing in the agribusiness sector. Of course, Enabotat Uganda has so many activities that are being implemented towards the sustainable solutions for the youth in agriculture. With us, we have Nakabugo Beki, one of uh, the leaders in the youth section in terms of agribusiness and agriculture. You're most welcome. Thank you very much, viewers, and, uh, and uh, my colleagues for hosting me today. Mm. My name is Nakabugo Beki. I am the liaison officer for EnableTAT project. EnableTAT is a project uh, funded by African Development Bank and one of the enablers of TAT. TAT is a project f uh, funded by the African Development Bank and uh, is a project under the IITA uh, project. IITA is International Tropical Agriculture. You will ask yourself, what is TAT in full? TAT is Technologies for African Agriculture Transformation. We realize that uh, Africa needs to transform the agriculture sector. Mm -hmm. And how can we transform the agriculture sector? Mm -hmm. By having a modernized way of uh, agriculture. Mm -hmm. Uh, trying to mechanize and trying to look at agriculture as a business entity. Mm -hmm. For us in youth in agribusiness, we realize that most of the youth need a mindset change. Mm -hmm. And we can do have a mindset change by capacity empowerment. Mm -hmm. The youth in agribusiness office under the Enable Chart project, we have four compacts in which we decided to help the youth for example, we have what we call the advocacy, whereby we have sensitization and uh, nurturing the youth. We go to different areas and cross-cut Africa. In, uh, for example, uh, Enable Touch is uh, in, nine, in nine countries. We have uh, Uganda, we have uh, Kenya, we have DRC, we have Nigeria, we have Zambia, mm. we have Malawi, mm. we have Southern Sudan, mm. and we have uh, Rwanda. Mm. Now we, in uh, TAT 2, mm. the project of phase TAT 2, mm. we are going to cross cut to other Anglo Anglo uh, French, French, French speaking Anglo countries. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are going to Mali, mm. we are going to Senegal, mm. we are going to Mozambique. So we are going to expand. Uh, initially, we did TAT1, okay. whereby TAT1 we started in 2018 wow. uh, up to 2022. Okay. But I'll take you back. Before we started Enable TAT, mm. we have what we call IITA Youth Agripreneurship. Mm. Mm. IITA Youth Agripreneurs is a, a project that, uh, a program that was initiated by, we call him the Abraham of uh, agribusiness in IITA. Just uh, a question, um, yes. why Abraham? Are you using the model? Are you looking at the Abraham I wanted kind of to, I wanted to elaborate okay, that. Okay, please, please, please. Yes, we call him the father and the Abraham of uh, youth in agribusiness. Mm -hmm. This is an initiative that uh, started by the Director General, Dr. Sanginga, mm -hmm. who really identified that there was a huge problem mm. in Nigeria mm. whereby the youth would come very early in the morning mm. and uh, line up in the gates of IITA mm. requesting for casual labor. Mm. 
So he identified that some of the youth had the potential and had gone to school. So that is when he had his dream and uh, his idea to get us where we are. Uh, we are youth for, we are graduate youth from dis different multi disciplines, <coughs> academic disciplines <coughs> that came together <coughs> and formed the youth in agribusiness office. <coughs> so we initiated the, the idea <coughs> and uh, it has expanded <coughs> from uh, Nigeria, <coughs> it went to DRC, <coughs> from DRC it went to Tanzania, <coughs> from Tanzania it went to uh, Kenya, <coughs> from Kenya it came to Uganda. Wow. I will just take you just uh, a hint as to why I was one of the founders of uh, the youth and agribusiness in Uganda. Mm -hmm. We called it the Uganda Youth Agripreneurs. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working as a casual laborer in uh, ShopRite, mm -hmm. Checkers, whereby they would call me on uh, uh, festive days mm -hmm. like Easter mm -hmm. or Christmas. To do the parking. Mm. However, I had gone to school. Mm. I have a bachelor's in industrial arts. Mm. Oh. That is uh, my area of uh, academic uh, background. Yeah. So uh, I didn't want it, but I had, I had searched for jobs and I, I wouldn't find any. Mm. So I talked to one of my colleagues who at one moment uh, told me that uh, there's an opportunity that maybe you can explore. Mm. We have uh, community groups whereby we are venturing into horticultural crops. Mm. And uh, as a plan B, I opted to try it. <laughs> well, plan B. I would love to ask a question like, um, you sounded like you didn't have passion. No, uh, honestly, I'm being honest, I didn't have the passion. Yeah. But I was like, OK, let me, let me try it. So, uh, apparently, when it comes to the, to the, to the African continent, mm. only the 10% of the young people are involved in agriculture compared to the 60% in Asia, maybe, if I'm to compare with any other continent. Would you say that maybe the young people in Africa don't have the passion, they, they're not interested in agriculture? Yeah, what, is Why, what is the problem? What is the major problem? Uh, I think, let her first tell us her story, mm. then we shall understand why. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, um, uh, can I go back to the story? Yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. So this friend of mine uh, invited me to the group. Yeah. I was disappointed that most of the, the people in the group were all elderly, women, <laughs> men, and mostly women. Yeah. I, didn't have, I didn't have a connection with them. Yeah. But however, I was like, okay, since he's my friend, yeah and he wants me to join, mm. I will join. Mm. I, I would maybe participate uh, just a, a third mm. of uh, what w was expected out of me. Mm. Mm. So it was one time when we had visitors coming to visit our fields. So this is when uh, they requested that I take, f uh, I take uh, the lead. Mm of our participation, because they said uh, that we're going to receive visitors. Mm. First thing I asked them, how many visitors? Mm. They said like 10, mm. but they told me, we know sometimes you're in Kampala, please, please, this date, just mark it and don't go to Kampala. Mm. I said, just keep, me rem where, just keep where reminding me. Those, those, those visitors, we didn't, I actually, personally, I didn't know where the visitors were coming from, mm. but I heard there were visitors coming. Mm. So and they, uh, were coming to your they were coming to visit our fields. Where were the fields located? In Nagalama, in uh, yes. Nabare, Mukono. Yes, yes, I know that place. So they told me, don't go to Kampala, because they knew I would go to Kampala and spend night there. Yes. And maybe one time I would go for the, I would come for the meeting, or I would not. Yes. So they told me, on this date, don't go to Kampala. Yes. I told them, just keep reminding me, we have visitors, yes. and we want you to come and speak English. Yes. Because most Wait, of the I... people... <laughs> Most of the guys didn't know English. No, no. Most of them were elite. So they told me, they spoke in our language, that Becky, Becky, please be there. Better where you get all the Zoom. I really loved That is the word they said. Mm -hmm. So I was like, OK. Njaku where I want you get all the Zoom. Mm -hmm. So I was like, maybe I was like, I'm going to be there like a machinery. Mm -hmm. During which years <laughs> yes. were those? That was 2000. That was 2015. Oh, wow. alarming. Wow. 
so mm -hmm. I, I, I they kept reminding me, yeah. back if Thursday, please be there. Better mm -hmm. you get all the zoom. I said, you get all the zoom. Mm -hmm. So that is that was the main instance as they as why as they, they wanted me, right? yes, mm -hmm. to be part. And for me, I was like, okay, it is something that I can do. Mm -hmm. I will be available. Mm -hmm. So we expected 10 visitors. Mm -hmm. The visitors came 60 of them. Mm -hmm. eh? So out of the 60 visitors, that is where the Director General of IITA mm -hmm. had come from Ibadan, Nigeria, mm -hmm. to visit our farms in Mokono. Mm -hmm. So when they came to the site, initially we had opened, I had told them that, ah, let us open a WhatsApp group whereby you can easily chat to me and tell me what you have that is ready for market, then I can be able to find the market. Yeah. So for me, I wanted the digitalized methods. Yeah. I didn't want the hands-on. Yeah. And uh, even I didn't, have, uh, I didn't have vibe for them. Yeah. I didn't have, uh, old, I didn't even didn't have anything slow. like, I didn't have anything like, we, didn't, we were not connecting with the ladies and uh, so I was like, ah, but I will be there. So when they told me, the, I told them the only thing you can get me on WhatsApp, mm. let's create a WhatsApp group so that you can, and most of them didn't have the WhatsApp. Yeah. So I was like, okay, but just post whatever you have, I'll find markets. Because we were looking at uh, targeting the ShopRite market, mm. but we needed to have, I needed to maybe show them what we have to prove that we really have it and the quality and everything. Mm. So we had a WhatsApp group. So when the director general came to the site, one of the white ladies, uh, the guests, asked a question that at this moment I don't have money and I need your product. Mm -hmm. How best can you reach me? Mm -hmm. Or how can these products reach me? Mm -hmm. The first thing I told her that we created a WhatsApp group mm -hmm. and we can contact you via WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And the second thing, we also have an online app, and whereby we are selling our, our products online. It is called the Online Vegetable Basket. Mm. If you really need our products, mm. I can share a link with you, mm. and you can order, and we can be able to deliver your goods, your vegetables on time. Mm. I even told her that we can, we can order your vegetables fresh and tasty, mm. whereby you are going to enjoy mm. our product. Mm. So the next thing I had is, I issue her a ticket. Mm -hmm. So that was my turning point. Mm -hmm. I started traveling to different mm -hmm. uh, countries mm -hmm. to share the experience. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. actually, the, the, the name I got from that visit was the WhatsApp girl. OK. <laughs> so and uh, everybody would address me as the WhatsApp girl, the WhatsApp girl. So I went to Nigeria. I saw what colleagues in Nigeria were doing. I went to Nairobi mm. in Kibwezi. I met the Kenya uh, agripreneur, youth agripreneurs. I went to Tanzania. I met the Tanzania youth agripreneurs. Mm. I went to DRC. I met the uh, Congo mm. youth agripreneurs. That is why I came back in Uganda. I said we are the Whatever Uganda they are youth. Doing, let us do I here. said because I met in Nigeria, they were the Nigerian youth agripreneurs. Mm. Kenya youth agripreneurs, uh, Tanzania youth agripreneurs. When I came back, I came back with a new name, the Uganda, Uganda, youth, Uganda agri youth agripreneurs. Mm -hmm. In bracket, IIT. Ms. Nakavogo, so. Uh, so that was 2015, you lacking passion. Mm -hmm. Now, currently, it's 2023. I don't know how many years are those. Quite, uh, some, around seven, quite some number. Eight, and still, seven, you realize eight. that 60% of whoever is in the agriculture sector are uh, people who are 50 or 60. In, of age, why do you think people of my age, I presume you were of my age by then, why yes. aren't they participating in agriculture? I think uh, most of the people are not uh, participating in agriculture. Like I told you, mm. it's because they lack passion. What is, why do they lack passion? I yeah. think the reason as to why they lack passion, passion, we need a mindset change. Mm. We need to change the mindset mm. of uh, the young people mm. out there. Mm. Because not un until you can reveal or you, we can testify what we have uh, benefited from agriculture mm. or even how agriculture can be done better. Mm. That is the only way we can entice young people into agriculture. Mm. 
for example, most, most people in agriculture think when mm. they hear that you're in the village or you're in agriculture, mm. the first thing they will say is, are you in the garden? As you're not dirty. Mm. It is one thing that I've now changed for most of my, the cycle, the people around me, mm. when I tell them I'm in the village, they'll say, are you at the farm? Mm. Because they know now it mm. is the farm that is, has gotten me to another level. Mm. And uh, if they see my, if they, somebody calls on my phone mm. and they find my phone is not on, mm. somebody will think I'm out of the country because they know that it is now something that is usual. I fly and in and out. So it's because of agriculture. Yeah. I one time told my dad that, Dad, I thank God I did not do the nursing course. Because when would I have ever flew? When would I have got in the first class? It is because of agriculture or agribusiness that I've got this far. So if youth have such testimonies, this can inspire them into agriculture. And uh, I think if we interlink other sectors like the ICT, the marketing sector, the transportation sector, the, so the mass communication, the journalism, there are a lot of uh, sectors that we can embed or that can al align with uh, agribusiness or agriculture. That is why it is no longer called agriculture. It is called agribusiness because it is agriculture together with business. And business is a broad thing whereby it has uh, very many stakeholders, transporter, transporters, even the consumers are determinants to agribusiness. So it is what really lacks to get the youth and really tell them what is all about agriculture. Uh, Miss yes. Becky, I'm so grateful that we have you on this show today because you're living testimony of people out there who think that white collar jobs are the only jobs that can lead you to such an achievement. Not really. Mm. Really, thank you so much for coming. Well, apparently to some other people out there, some actually some are interested in agriculture, mm. but then they lack the funds the resources to, to start with. Um, what knowledge would you give someone out there that they have, yes, they have the passion, they want to join agriculture, but then they don't have the money. Money is a big problem out okay. there. Rania, um, yes. before Ms. Nakal will say something to us, eh? mm -hmm. most times in rural areas, eh, these farmers, usually, they, because they're so hardworking, they know what to do, but then they fail to get funds from financial institutions, especially banks. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the issue is, mm -hmm. but I presume that Madam Ms. Nakabugo has... No, um, to add on that, mm -hmm. Ms. Nakabugo's story alone, the reflection of what, is, is what it is in our country, mm -hmm. and we just be understanding what could happen with agriculture. For example, me, I know how to, you know, dig and everything, and hear all... Martha. Yeah, I know you're talking about Martha, 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 you're but lying. Still, the problem is when we go to school, a few schools teach agriculture as a subject. Mm. Is, you know how you set up your, 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 your last had agriculture like in primary school? Mm. 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 That is now still with our education. Where we dig for punishment. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Holding a, 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 a speaking. Can you imagine? So now, me, when you're telling us the story, the, the first ones you also get best before everything is done. When those guys come, what do they add on the farm? Besides now you taking your things to across everywhere. Mm. What you are you when you saw that now, you didn't, you didn't want them to come, you didn't want to welcome them, you are you, but when they came, they change your name. What do mm. they add to the farm before? Yeah. And, and also the funds for the people in the rural areas. Actually, the first thing that uh, the director general did to, uh, to the farm, he made sure that uh, we, because we are into hot culture, mm -hmm. he made sure that we can produce year round. Mm -hmm. The what first thing, hot culture, it is uh, venturing in vegetables, vegetables and, yeah. especially the leafy vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, he found us doing the Sukuma wiki, the cabbages and uh, the nakati mm. and the amaranthans. Mm. So the first thing uh, we were taught is to look at high value crops, like uh, broccoli, cornflower, cucumber, English cucumber, mm. 
the sweet paper capscam, mm. the first thing that the director general of IITA, and thanks to him, he installed a greenhouse to our farm. And we made, she made sure that we have an irrigation scheme mm. running mm. on the farm. Mm. He made sure that we produce year round. Okay. Year in, year out, we are in the market. Yeah. Till now? Till now. Mm. Okay. We also, uh, from, what, from that visit, mm. everybody's turning point, that was the turning point for all the community. For all the people. Yes. Because uh, we started supplying the high-end market. Mm. The shop oh, rate? Did you get to shop rate? No, 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 no. Mm. The high-end market, because IITA is an international institute, mm. we started you supplying mm. to the whites within the, all the CG centers. Mm. By the CG centers, I'm talking about IITA, mm. I'm talking about IFRI, mm. I'm talking about IRI, mm. I'm yeah. talking about Bioversity, mm. I am talking about um, SIP. Mm -hmm. Those are all international institutions. Mm -hmm. And that was ready market for us, mm -hmm. whereby we determine the price mm -hmm. and we communicate the price before we even sell by mm -hmm. sending a Google form. Mm -hmm. And these people started ordering online. Mm -hmm. And this, caused, this brought transparency mm -hmm. to the team mm -hmm. because by the time uh, Dam somebody takes some somebody takes something mm. to the market mm. already no already the entire group knows mm. that we are taking 30 bunches of uh, maybe spinach mm. and it is at this much mm. he made us uh, solve the problem mm. of middlemen mm. that are exploiting yeah, okay. the farmers with the yeah, market whereby yeah, you cannot yeah, determine yeah, it is the yeah. middleman that uh, meets the end user. Yes, and gets all the profit. And uh, he will get all the profit. Mm. You have uh, ventured so much, and because you don't have, uh, the, you don't have the access to markets, mm. you cannot determine the price. Mm. And this is the most challenging, uh, this is the most challenge mm. most farmers are facing. Mm. They do the donkey work, mm. And by the end, uh, the, by the, end uh, the stage of the market, mm. they withdraw mm. and they let somebody else mm. to decide for them. Mm. Actually, what is unique about it the is so bad that the farmers get it is, out? It is very bad. One time, my mom, uh, during COVID, cultivated, like she paid people to, to plant mm. cassava. And this cassava came out so well. Like, we would really have cattle go, eh? and mm. the cassava was so good. But then be, she actually didn't know about these things, because guy came, like a guy came and like bought the cassava, sacks and sacks of cassava. But when you see the amount of money they paid her, I was really so sad, and I was like, this guy is going to move to town, mm. and then he's going to over overprice mm. and get all the profits. And yet my mom, who paid these workers, kept feeding them day in, day out, when they were tending mm. to the fields. Mm. Mm. Is not going to really get that much, even when it comes to things like piggery, mm. or animal what is husbandry. Really unique about those so domains? that is the reason why Enable Touch mm. is or oh, the youth in agribusiness office. Those are the challenges, or those are the problems mm. we are trying to solve. Mm. Oh, yes. In agribusiness, uh, you if agriculture is a business, mm. you cannot woke up in the morning mm -hmm. and plant cassava, mm -hmm. not knowing who is your target market. Mm -hmm. Before you go or venture into something, mm -hmm. you have already identified your the markets. market. Mm -hmm. You have already known who are the target mm -hmm. customers. What do your customers want? Mm -hmm. What are the distribution channels? Mm -hmm. How are you going to reach them? Mm -hmm. Are you going to go via a middleman? Mm -hmm. If it is via, via a middleman, you're supposed to have terms and conditions yeah. via right. that, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to transit from the manipulation of the to thing. the new commercialized mm -hmm. agriculture. Mm -hmm. Well, on top of what Martha has said, still it is on the same thing, same issue when it comes to the middlemen. I feel like maybe most farmers are not aware. They are not aware of how, on, of, of, actually some of them don't know that they're supposed to be earning more than they are getting right now. What are some of those programs that Enable Tant is also maybe doing to create awareness to maybe to these farmers, most especially these farmers, in deep, deep, deep down there in the villages? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I think, um, thank you so much. I think the first thing is uh, not, it's way beyond enable chat. It is the chat as a project. We have uh, nine, nine components or compacts of uh, TAT. And these are specific food commodities that are within TAT. Mm -hmm. So we have those in uh, rice, there's Africa rice. Mm -hmm. Those in sweet potato, mm -hmm. there's uh, International Potato Center. Mm -hmm. Those in livestock, mm -hmm. it is uh, International Livestock. Center. Mm. Then IIT it is basically research mm. to address the problems of uh, the pests and uh, such so, things. Mm. So, within those programs, within those uh, like those compacts, mm. there is capacity building mm. whereby mm. they create awareness for the farmers. Mm. By this is what they do. First of all, if you have, uh, if you're well positioned. Mm. For example, you have planted in lines. Mm. You have uh, done uh, the ridges. Mm. You can uh, um, eradicate soil ero erosion in the farm. Mm. You have the trenches that are going to do uh, water cons conservation. Your produce or your products will be way right. different. Right. Right. Yes based on others. But, but so you will be able to sell mm. to established, mm. uh, for example, farms. Mm. There, are certain, uh, there, are certain, there are certain companies mm. that want organic. Mm. So if you really know the good agronomic practices mm. of going organic, mm. if the person comes and really finds mm. you planted in lines, mm. You're, you're doing it in You've a formal done way, well. formally. Mm -hmm. The product, the produce is going to be higher than the person doing it normally. Mm -hmm. I yes. want to ask, yes. hmm? how exactly are farmers making sure they don't get little? This is that the is, first thing yeah. they are doing. And, and also, mm. apart from enable touch, mm. what other avenues, mm. what other avenues are there for a young person, because you might find that a person, yeah, you might find that a person is not um, able to maybe find any that. What other people or what other organizations are involved in our uh, agribusiness? And please let the people out there know about them. Samali, um, Madam Becky, you're going to mark that question okay. from somebody. Okay. Mark it because okay. it's a very good question. Yes. But now we have to cut short for the break. Um, okay. For those who are watching us, thank you so much for being a part of this first episode of. Um, of the Enable Tat, you know, kind of program together with the Youth Business Loan Show. However, don't miss uh, to continue to be a part of this good show that we're having uh, today. However, um, we are at a beautiful place called Onomo Hotel in Kampala. Um, yeah. And it's a very, very, very beautiful place. If you have missed out on coming on normal, this is your place for your conferences, for your workshops, for your meetings, even those dinner dates, please come to Onomo. However, we have to cut short for a very short break. Come, please join us as we continue our very powerful discussion with Nakabugo Beki. Thank you.